Good morning, YouTube fans. How are you? This is me, 187 Mama Pim Mafia, in all my glory. Here I am on my Twitter page. How are you this morning, everybody? Nice to see you. Happy, 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 wonderful snowy day. But remember, even though it's a snowy day, you got everything in the bucket. You know you gotta play. You know you are a player. You know you are a slayer. You know you're 187 Mama Pit Mafia. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, I only got a few tweets. Nobody really likes me. They probably wanna suck my feet. I don't even care. This morning I put this one out for 187 Mama Pit Mafia for Patrick Husbands with Fine Racetrack. Prince in Pain. And this is a beautiful absolutely beautiful track that I did in the studio. When I was running my horse, the war's over. He came second on my horse, and this morning I posted the song that I went in the studio and did after he rode my horse. So this one here is really, really beautiful, and I'll bring it back to you very shortly. This is the same one, just a different topic. Patrick, jockey, husbands, get well and stand strong, yeah. Here's another one that I did, and it's called, um, it's Iconic Music by the Rapper. Uh, <laughs> Iconic Music by the Rapper, and uh, I'm a grand rapper genius. This is me again. I can show you a few things that I do. Yeah, no problem. This was me. This is really, really crazy. I'm gonna turn this on to you right now. I have not been in social media since 2012, and this is the first shot of me since 2012, which is exactly almost more than six and a half years. Nobody in social media has seen me since this time. And here's another one I did for Patrick Husband's Blessings to His Healing. And here's another one I did for Facebook Loves Me. Here's another one I did for, oh, I was on a meeting on my way to Osaga Beach. And here's another one that I did, Floating Candles and Jockey Swaggers. It's kind of a sexy one. Actually, you know what? I'll just turn the sex on one time for you guys. So you can really see the kind of sex that I do put out. I do make everything that's homemade. This has taken Jockey Swag to a whole new level with magnificent floating candles and rose petals and rose water and a magnificent stainless steel beautiful container and jockey if you just want to touch it so, so they can see that the candles are floating i have so water. many jealous people so many haters wow. <laughs> so many lovers so today and you You're see, gonna be having a special bath. I have all the young men you who gift. are totally naked, Her who just want to just love me and be around to me. And Most of them are jockeys, owners, He's trainers, investors, and business associations. You know, I make my own jewelry line, my own cosmetic skin. line. I make my own animals. All I make my own mosaics. I make my own oils. Natural, I make, what the hell don't I make? See. Beautiful, jewelry. gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I made this giraffe oh, wow. for my jockey. Pimp, like, are you serious? That I'm you now giving a bath now? to. I carved yeah, this myself out of wood. And I put the mosaics on it. His legs, I really. And he's on one piece I've known of him for seven years. And, he and he's got crystals on the bottom of the mosaic. He's got citrine. He's got quartz. So, you know, I do and these little things for these people. And I help and them, I pull their bodies out, I align their spines, I um, Nine months to be totally <laughs> bound for you and spiritually I do a lot of stuff, so get it's them okay. spiritually in so touch with themselves, to, to get to know gotta, themselves, gotta, gotta to get them in touch the, with the um, higher power of themselves, to, to right know now, themselves so they can go on with life and be prosperous. I do not like anybody around me who's not prosperous or trying to do something great in their life. Because God wants us to be great, that's why he gave us a soul, a spirit, a heart, and a mind, and we have a body as well. But if we're just going to do nothing in this world, sit around, draw welfare, and be a goof, well, you know what? That's not what I want. And I don't talk to these kind of people. I don't associate with these kind of people. 
Um, yeah, here he is, yeah, with the floating candles and the big cast iron old bathtub. But I have used him as my boy toy. Um, when I met him, he was only like 24. Now he's like, I don't know. I've been with him for seven or eight years on and off. So, you know, he's actually my personal assistant. So. I'm kind of jealous because I put all my homemade cosmetics like frankincense and myrrh on his face. And I make his own soap lines and I make his own... Um, bath bombs and, and I make his own colognes and I even make his own de deodorant and toothpaste our brand new Geo I, product I just but, um, I make it I make my own wines for him online. I spread the it satin sheets in. and after that I'm not going to tell you what, and, uh, what goes on or what happens we did our first movie so together. It was called Jockey Swag. It went viral. And he was in um, this particular outfit. You've particular probably seen it in the Jockey Swag, swag movie. If you had Google Jockey Swag, I'm in a pink wig all dressed in army, and he's in this particular Jockey um, Silks, my personal Jockey Silks. And, um, it was very beautiful. It went viral. Everybody went crazy. And uh, you know what? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You want me to, you want me to roll over and die? I'm not going to do that. I am the most elite rapper in the history of the world. Lyrically, metaphorically, personally, original, unique and soulfully gifted to the point where I am just living in my world of art because art is heart and heart is art. And if people don't like what I do, you know what? They can go fuck themselves. I don't care. I have young girls who want to smash my head in. Like, are you serious right now for what? What did I do to you? Telling me, oh, you're an old burnt out senior citizen. Yo, bro, I'm not even in that age bracket yet and I'm a young girl and I'm hot and I said yo bitch you, your fucking face is so fucking ugly you better look in the fucking mirror again eh and number one you don't have any talent and number two you're a fucking welfare so get the fuck out of my face bro I'm serious like you're sucking my air get away from me like you gotta get away from me because I'm your spirit right now and your energy is just like chopping me in half right now because I am hooked to God and I don't want your fucking ugly face I don't want to look at you bitch like really it happens all day long to me everywhere i go like i'll go into a restaurant and i'll be sitting there and here's my own line of wines and people are just looking at me like oh really oh really oh wow oh oh i just hope my husband doesn't look at her i just thought i just hope my husband doesn't take a glance at her i just hope my husband doesn't catch her energy oh my god oh my god oh my god like get a fucking life you dumb bitch even with all the fucking money you got, and, and even if you don't have money, you don't have no soul, you don't have no energy, you don't have no synergy, you don't have no life. You want to put, you know, uh, make your fucking life my life? Like, fuck off. Seriously. You know, Nicki Minaj, you know, we sat down one day, you know what she told me? Yo, yeah, I'm a... I'm a Trini here, Trini, yeah, no problem. I'm from Tobago, you're from Trinidad, no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, I grew up in Queens in New York, you know, so I got my little swagger and I don't want people to know how I, what I really say when I rap. I'm like, okay, that's fine. But my name is 187 Mopit Mafia and I need to have my fucking stuff heard loud and clear. See you later, okay, ciao, baby, I'm okay.